There we go. And now we're ready. Perfect. So, 27 cases. Let's get down to business, shall we? We have um, a number of them, ranging from uh, superior battle packs. As I got all of these because of um, because I went ahead and purchased the premium version of Battlefield for a reasonable price. Um, a number of rarer versions as well um, uh, to go along with them, plus a few um, uh, non-rares uh, to add to the entire um, list. So, um, I guess it would be a best, the best idea to start off with those which are non-rares, then go to the rares and finally over to the superiors. By doing so, um, we have a chance with the non-rares of, uh, like this, of actually unlocking some of the rares and superiors, like so. It is in fact happening, Ma Monkey, it's happening right here, right now, so feel, uh, so, uh, hurrah for being a part of it. So, um, I guess we'll get, get started with the, uh, with the, um, uh, lower level battle, pa battle packs, see what they, what they're going to offer us up this time. Uh, EA kind of do bless us with some amazing, amazing things. Just noticed, actually, these uh, the, uh, these battle packs that you are now in game, apparently not only have the uh, one of these, but then it also says plus 750 other possible skins. So there's uh, there's a lot more that we can unlock other than just what is visible here. Yep, this could uh, this could end up on YouTube. We'll see. We'll see. All in good time. So uh, let's get started then, shall we? Battle pack number one in three, two. And one. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Superior? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Already on this item? Really? Since when? Times two. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Bam. <laughs> that's a pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good one, especially for uh, for our very first box opening and uh, a non-rare box, a legendary. I'll take it, I'll take it. EA, EA smiles upon us for uh, for now. So add to inventory, there we go. Um, on to our next battle pack, uh, Ultimate Revision yet again. So let's go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. That's uh, That certainly came out of left field, that's for sure. Let's keep it going. Let's see how many superiors we can get out of this. There's a number that are, you know, secure for sure, but others. Uh, maybe we could also unlock one of the, uh, one of the actual melee weapons. Um, uh, there are a couple of cool ones, specifically the saber. Uh, the cookery looks really nice as well, uh, looking at it. So those two would definitely be pretty amazing. Uh, okay, on to the next one. Three, two, and one. All right, uh, a, a, a common one, pretty much. Uh, and the leads. Apparently, we don't. We've never had this this one before. Um, okay, slight little bronzing effect, still pretty cool, quite, uh, you know, quite realistic for what it's worth, so I can take that. Alright, not bad, not bad. Um, so yeah, two, uh, two cases out already, really in the pretty good start so far. Uh, I have to admit, one thing that they really did beautifully on the, um, here in Battlefield 1 was the overall effect of actually opening up a case which would indeed have a weapon inside it for its time period so that's a pretty cool touch on their end fair play so revision 2 or revision 1 um, I guess we can go for the revision uh, ones first then start moving upwards by uh, by code in terms of which division it's supposed to be as you can see uh, they're all, uh, they are all pretty much numbered, revision, some of them holiday revisions and such, but revision 55, etc. So, um, I'm thinking that we'll, uh, we'll work up our way up numerically while also taking into account whether it's an enhanced or a superior battle pack. Monkey, sure, we'll go ahead and stretch, why not? Um, so, yeah, stretch, stretch so that we can ensure that we win, even, uh, that we win and earn ourselves more, um, more amazing stuff. Uh, so, standing up yet again, arms out to the sides, above our head, out in front, little twisty wristy, you know, get ourselves uh, 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 all prepared and ready to hold up these massive machine guns, and then side to side, just move our hips. There we go. I'm turning myself into um, a yoga, the yoga instructor you can't actually see, but uh, I guess if, uh, if I'm turning myself into a yoga instructor or a gym instructor, 
I guess that works. <laughs> if we're all uh, if we're all doing well off of it, why not? So uh, let's get going on to the next battle pack in three, two, and one. Oh, okay, uh, non rare this time. All right, all right. Ooh, veteran guard for the 1915. All right, interesting style, uh, black slide, and a, um, um, a bit of a dull look to the metal part at least. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Why not? Why not? Uh, <laughs> gra grab me with all, uh, uh, you know, capture me on stream uh, on in the video with all of my madness. I guess. Why not? The jaw mus muscles as well. What do you think I've been doing for the past hour and twenty minutes on stream? <laughs> Off we go. On to uh, the next part of the our next case. Uh, once we add to inventory, no additional um, uh, pieces or squad bonuses just yet. So uh, on to our next case. Three, two, and one. All right, another unre uh, another uh, common this time. Uh, again, royal decree for the M uh, for the automatico. Pretty good. Uh, I like it. I like it. Uh, Volstal just noticed that the trigger guard and trigger also share the exact same um, uh, coloration to the metal. So, pretty uh, pretty sweet. I like. Add to inventory and on to the next one, I guess, then. Sure, let's go. Ooh, hello. MG15NA. Uh... All right, um, certainly a pretty cool-looking, um, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, camouflage pattern, if you will. Uh, definitely gives me the vibes of some sort of ghillie suit on a <laughs> fairly sizable machine gun, to be fair, but... Kind of cool. I like it. I like this. Really nice. A little, uh, fairly subtle overall. Come on, let's see some... Uh, let's see, it's a bit of hype. Let's see what... Uh, any particular weapons that you think would be... Uh, cool, or any specific ski skins that you um, that you believe will be getting tonight, or would be amazing to uh, uh, to acquire. Feel free to let me know in the chat. Certainly, we'll see if uh, your predictions work out. The Doughboy, all right, for the the bar, definitely um, quite the shiny one, very intricate. Also, um, pretty cool with the uh, with the blacked out stock as well. Certainly, very intriguing. So, uh, on to our second before the last pack for this rev first revision. Martini Henry Legendary. Okay, okay. Could be. One way to find out. Off we go. Three, two, and one. Oh, another, un another common. The Mondragon. Uh, oh, okay. The Camouflage Shroud. This one I have on the Gewehr 98 specifically. Um, but for the Mondragon. All right, uh, very faint uh, little, uh, you know, tape-like coloration, if you will. Pretty cool. I like. I mean, I, I like it already on the Gewehr. Having it on another rifle like the Mond Mondragon would be uh, could work out pretty well too. We'll see. Last case for the uh, for our revision ones. So uh, we're definitely going. We're beginning to slowly but surely move on from one section to the other. So let's hope that this one finally um, uh, repays us with something a little bit more spicy up here from the uh, from the uh, rare and superior parts. So one way to find out: three, two, and one. Ah, common. Okay, okay. What do we get? Ah, same thing. Okay. Uh, on the bright side, we can go ahead and uh, and uh, sell it for scrap, which we can use to purchase ourselves. An additional case if we so please. So that works for me. Alright, um, so onwards to the one case that we have from Revision 2 uh, lying in wait over here. So Revision 2, a um, couple of cool ones. The Riot definitely looks pretty interesting um, with the little ghillie, little ghillie piece here uh, over there. Red Tab, very shiny looking auto revolver. Me likey, me likey. All right, one way to find out. Three, two, and one. Off we go. Oh, we got a rare. We got a rare. Ooh, okay, okay. Brawler for the model uh, for the model A, a uh, model ten. Hmm. All right. Certainly uh, uh, an interesting 
pattern overall. Uh, nothing too special in my opinion. All right, sure, sure. Um, it, it does kind of resemble some sort of uh, like it's like you're looking at a turtle's back, uh, a turtle's shell from the top, uh, or at least um, maybe some species of turtle, I guess, or tortoise. But uh, yeah, okay, there we have it. Um, there it goes. Now then, on to the rares that we have, since we have gone through all of our um, common versions. So we have Battlefest, and we have for a premium mission. This one we have two of, this one we have one of. Let's get started with the one which we have uh, the superior number. So, um, winter update revision, uh, rewarded for premium missions. Oh, we can get some of uh, some super rares this time. Uh, platinum Chevron for the artillery truck, as well as the Silver Victory for the light tank. Mm. Definitely would be nice to see one of those. I don't get, I don't manage to get tanks that often, but uh, definitely could be a nice couple of pickups. So let's give it a try. Three, two, and one. Oh, different. Yeah, there you go. It's uh, even the, the the fact that you get a different style when opening up the uh, the crate itself. That I really did enjoy uh, with regards to Battlefield One. They did a good job over there. Uh, nice, uh, nice pickup there. Uh, artillery truck, the uh, Kurzemiesk. Um, certainly, you know something at least different than just the plain Jane um, uh, desert camo that you get um, over on. Uh, you know, when you're playing on the desert maps, for example. So a good pickup. Oh, squid, squad boosters. We could either save these up or even sell them for scrap for an additional um, case later on. We'll see what, uh, what kind of fortune we have. Our next case, three, two, and one. Let's see what, uh, what they offer us. EA, bless us with your greatness. Oh, superior. Oh... Madsen MG, M M Madsen MG. This looks uh, quite similar to the shotgun we saw, I believe. Uh, there was uh, the uh, a particular shotgun which I, I said kind of had the same ghillie style uh, on the stock. So that's cool, nice. Managed to pick it up for the Madsen. Uh, might need to play that uh, play that LMG a little bit more in the future. Righto, um, there we have it. On to our final rare case for this evening. Bit mech for a, 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 a legendary. Oh well, oh well. Ooh, these now I re I remember seeing these um, these in the cases back in my time. Uh, the desert gold and the blue that uh, the desert gold specifically yes, uh, really nice. Uh, you know, a fiery, um, uh, I guess, tiger pattern of sorts. Um, and then also the Blue Dazzle, which looks, uh, I have to admit, the Blue Dazzle does remind me of uh, some of the camouflages you can buy in uh, in World of Warships to uh, uh, to improve your ship's uh, survivability, supposedly, which was actually the case. Uh, they actually used these, uh, these pattern styles on warships in order to um, confuse enemy gunners. Uh, when it when they came to trying to range their shots on an enemy ship, so pretty cool one this one, very cool. Uh, all right, uh, off we go then. Let's. Uh, oh, hang on. You mentioned the Mar the Martini Henry, definitely a, a pretty spicy looking rifle here. A really good looking uh, engraving all around. All right, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Three, two, and one. Oh, a rare. Okay, okay. Hmm. The Crown Prince for the Sep sl uh, the Slap Slatter. All right, all right. Uh, interesting little piece of um, black cloth around the handguard. I see. Uh, color discoloration in the wood as well as the uh, the um, you know the, the the rifle, the rest of the metal parts of the rifle. Ah. Uh, I mean, from a realistic standpoint, it looks cool. Uh, maybe not as exciting, but um, as a skin personally, but still looks cool. Uh, it, it looks looks pretty. At least it looks realistic. So that much we can give to it. So uh, add to our inventory. No luck with uh, any additional uh, poss possible bonuses. But uh, can't uh, can't win them all, you know. 
Right, uh, so we have some special ones back here, and then we have the regular uh, revision rewards, apparently. So I guess we'll start working our way up the regular revisions um, from the smallest number upwards, and uh, then we'll we'll hop on to the special ones, uh, such as ultimate revisions and uh, battle fest and uh, a few others later on. So let's go. Uh, let's get started. Revision number five. I hope you're all hyped. I hope you're all hyped up. I hope you're all ready to uh, hopefully see some uh, great things come out. I mean, fair enough. They they are superior battle packs, so uh, whatever I'm getting is great. Um, but definitely some which might be more, um, uh, which you might have better feelings towards, or might have played uh, played around with, or maybe even missed and wanted to pick up back when you were playing. Battle, Battlefield 1 in your time. So, let's get going. Uh, Revision 5, down to our final 16 battle packs. In 3, 2, and 1. Oh, the M1911. Oh, ho, ho. hello. The general for the C93. Yeah, that's a that's a sweet looking a sweet looking pistol, definitely. I mean, in and of itself, it is a museum quality piece. Just then plating it in gold like that, you could you could imagine maybe the Kaiser himself, uh, way back when, maybe having uh, having been gifted one of these. Definitely, um, an absolute beauty, I must say. So yeah, added to our infantry. There we go. Oh, progress towards the sawtooth. Really nice. So we've got ourselves a puzzle piece. Beautiful looking one. I can see why it's called the Sawtooth. Along this side, you have some knuckle dusters. You have uh, a good old spike on the end, and a pretty scary blade all around. So nice. We got ourselves a puzzle piece. There we go. Three, two, and one. Uh, unopened. Now we head on back to the seventh revision this time. Okay, okay. What do we have here? Um, a mixture of three weapons and also a possible possible bonus for melee uh, or a squad booster, obviously. Um, all right, the revolver. Intricate, sn almost snake-like design, I would say, or dragon-esque um, along the barrel and the cylinder. Pretty sweet, nice bluing overall too. Uh, otherwise, the Ker the Koenig. Which I we actually uh, we the, this pattern we have seen before yes but we also have um, we picked up something for the Koenig which was kind of sweet as well. Uh, lastly, the hunter. Uh, oh, all right, some carvings in the wood, um, black uh, cloth around the hand uh, at, in one part of the uh, handguard, and also some some bandages on the cheek. Uh, nice little intricate details along the barrel and the receiver. Yeah, it's minimalistic. That's that's right. I guess all three of them are minimalistic and uh, somewhat realistic. I guess um, at least you can imagine them being the case. The Koenig, may maybe. I mean, I'm not too sure how um, uh, how within re regulations one would be to uh, go ahead and paint uh, the rifle. I am noticing that there seems to be something unusual here. I'm not sure if it's the bullets themselves. I think it might be the bullets. They look a little bit unusual here, but. Yeah, I uh, thought it was some sort of um, uh, some sort of uh, ribbon or something along the rifle itself, which would be pretty cool. Hey, N3, we're doing great here, thanks. We're currently unboxing a lot of cases for um, for Battlefield 1. Already got some sweet stuff, uh, working our way through with our final 15 cases this evening. And uh, yeah, having a good time. We started with some more, how did fairly well overall. And uh, But yeah, once we reached the, uh, the goal, I thought we'd switch on over and see what we can get. Hope you're well though, Entry. Hope you're well. So, uh, let's get going. Opening up in 3, 2, and 1. Oh, there we are. Nice. The Model Model A Total Loader. The Hunter. Really good. Like we said, minimalistic. Quite clean overall. A nice choice. A really nice choice. So... Added to our inventory, on to the next one. So, I am having to hop on over and cycle through that way, but for the, uh, you know, in order to maintain some sort of structure, it's totally worthwhile. 
Yes, I can. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. If I were to take a look real quick, uh, purchasing of battle packs, uh, 1.3k. We can we can purchase one so far. You can also exchange some uh, your uh, scraps for any uh, particular weapon that you want. These will uh, cycle around every day, I believe. Um, as you can see right now, a lot of auto, uh, a lot of the model eights. Um, hang on, whoops, almost purchased it. Um, but you also do get a couple of others occasionally, some um, uh, bomber skins, for instance. Um, might even be other rifles as you go along sometimes. Um, yeah, also the hunter, which we have already, and a couple of others, billhook piece. Depending on what you're looking for, I guess. You can save up and uh, purchase accordingly. So, uh, choosing battle packs, back on over, right about here. Uh, number 11, let's get going. Three. Two, and wait, what do we have, by the way? Uh, bronze Dazzle, or Dazzle Bronze, my bad. Um, really cool looking skin, we saw something similar in one of the previous packs. Uh, the Edelweiss, again, quite minimalistic, a little engraving on the receiver and, uh, and towards the magazine itself. And then the Habsburg, which uh, definitely looks all blinged out and uh, heavily engraved overall for the uh, uh, Repetier Pistola M M1912. M Alright, let's get going. 3, 2, 1, and go. If you want for some of, some of the future battle packs, we could create um, some polls and uh, see whoever get, guesses the right one. There we go, got ourselves the M95 um, skin, the Edelweiss. Nice pickup. Sadly, no additional bonuses just yet. So should we do some uh, should we do some predictions? See what we all think. Uh, uh, figure out which one we actually acquire. At least for those battle packs which have three possible outcomes, uh, you can all go ahead and um, uh, maybe win uh, and uh, try and guess what arrives. Uh, for now, these with more than three skins, I guess, um, maybe we'll skip, but if there's others with five, uh, with um, with actually just three, I'll go ahead and input them um, uh, one by one and see what we all think, maybe. If it's possible, I have to check. Um, I'll have to check if that's possible now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so, um, definitely some of the more blinged out vehicles available as super rares, the golden shell and the two-tone gold. Definitely a nice style for the land for the land ship, or as I refer to it, the land creeper. Um, what else do we have here? The Kaiser for the Gewehr 98. All right, we've seen this style before. Uh, Gord the Gordon Highlander. Hmm. Okay. Pretty lovely. Pretty lovely. We'll see. We'll see. Definitely a lot of skins to uh, pick up. I guess the others will. Uh, we'll, we'll just wait and uh, check them out when they actually arrive. So, or if we happen to pick up one of them. Three, two, one, go. Oh, -ho, there we are. Nice. All blinged out with the auto revolver. We had picked up a skin for the auto revolver already, I believe. But um, a nice, um, an interesting looking legendary one. Might uh, might break some people's immersion with the gold on the on such a battlefield, but um, at least it's uh, it's a nice vanity item to have for sure. So add to our inventory. Nice, got ourselves a another squad a squad XP boost. We can sell these later and uh, further increase our um, our total number of scraps. Yeah, they're pretty. Oh, they're pretty rare too. Okay, still, then that's a good thing. We have the MG skin, which is gold, and we have this revolver now. So. Nice double pickup, nice double pickup. Uh, battle pack, head on over. Um, so, we're continuing up with these, which are just revision and the number behind them, not the special ultimate battle fest, etc. So, number 30. Uh, a lot of skins available here. I see one for the Gasser. Difficult pistol to wield, but... Um, uh, if uh, But it is quite satisfying to actually kill. We're now beginning to see the Saber. Uh, appear as as a possible possible peace drop, so that's nice to look out for. Uh, Blue Dazzle appearing yet again uh, for the assault tank. We also now have the bronzed for the um, for the land for the landship. Really cool style, but a lot more realistic this one, I must say. 
Um, uh, I could, I, I mean, I could imagine this as actually being um, uh, a legitimate look for such a tank um, uh, out on the battlefield. So let's try. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, all right, hang on. The Capone. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> style definitely, uh, yet again, uh, what we refer to as the turtle-esque style over here. But uh, very nice. Uh, I mean, as, again, still a pretty nice pickup for sure. Hey, Saul. Good to see you, dude. Um, we've been uh, opening up some of these cases already. Got a couple of spicy ones that I think you might like. Uh, no, I have yet to arrive at the cases that offer the Mosin. So, I still have a little bit further to go before acquiring it. Um, right now, I'm, I'm going upwards in term, uh, depending on the revision number. So, we have uh, yet to go through all of them and then arrive at when the Mosin was introduced. Time will tell. Time will tell. Alright, Leprechaun. Thanks for dropping by at least, my dude. I hope you enjoy. Uh, take care of yourself out there, for sure. Uh, so, we started out with tw 27 cases. Um... Ooh, Saber Priest. Nice, nice. Really big, cool pickup. Look forward to pick, uh, to acquiring this sometime. So, we had a total of 27 cases. Um, the first case that I opened was one of those cases that you acquire from just playing the game, uh, like this. And I actually got a golden skin for, uh, for a machine gun. So, um, I believe it's the M1918, I think. I'll have to confirm the number, but I'll showcase it later. No worries. So, uh, we're down to the final 11 here, closing in on the end, one step at a time, one step at a time. So, battle pack. Uh, we were working our way up from those revision and the number, so uh, next one in line is revision number 34. Not to worry, Saul, not to worry, I'll be sure to uh, clip them, uh, to put them all together in a video probably, and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll all get to enjoy them uh, post-stream. So, uh, Doughboy is up again for grabs, uh, the bloodied this time. <laughs> well, uh, definitely weren't lying about the, uh, about, well, with the name of the, uh, of the skin, that's for sure. Looks like something out of, uh, Friday the 13th. I like it too, I like it too. Um, alright, Kukri and Billhook now making an appearance in the, uh, as pickups for possible bonuses. So, let's see what's behind uh, box number 34, or the box for the revision 34. Three, two, and one. Nope, definitely ain't the billhook we know, but I'll take it anyway. Oi, got the doughboy, there we go. Who was it who had mentioned that we should, uh, that the doughboy would be a nice pickup? Um, monkey, I think? Could have been monkey, I'm pretty sure. Very nice, yeah. Again, you say, a number of you saying that the gold skins are pretty rare to acquire nowadays. So, there you have it. Bar is ours. Another another golden skin for an MG. Really good. Yeah, it looks sick too. I agree. The oh, uh, the black style. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's leather over the wood itself or just the wood. Uh, the actual the actual wood is um, is from some ash tree or something. Uh, very detailed design as well along the box magazine too. Barrel and receiver. And also a little uh, partial cheek rest here. Over into the inventory. Nice. Another squad XP boost. We're going to be scrapping a number of these for sure. Um, right. There we go. Uh, back on over here. I know this can be a little bit tedious sometimes, but gets the job done. <laughs> uh, who knows? Who knows? Revision number 38. What do we? What do you have to offer us? Uh, the Devil Dog. Heard some uh, good things about it, certainly. Um, M1917 Trophy. Okay. Interesting name for a tank skin. Especially when it's not, you know, it's not a skin for an M1917. But, okay. Uh, looks like a bunch of jig jigsaw puzzles. I'm just throwing it out there real quick. Yeah, puzzle pieces. There we go. Good to see we're on the same, same, the same wavelength. Crimson Silver, um, I, I'm assuming therefore that this color, while looking a bit more into black, might be a bit more red when you actually take it out into the sunlight. So, again, have yet, I have never actually acquired a super rare, so 
maybe this could be our chance at long last. There we go. Three, two, and one. Hey, there she is. Called it as well. M1903, the devil dog. It's a uh, it's pretty a pretty cool looking looking skin too. Um, uh, two pieces of uh, handguard, um, some sort of belt. I I would presume it was meant to hold a few additional bullets on one side, most probably. Um, quite a clean looking um, uh, you know receiver, barrel, and uh, trigger guard. So this is the best one you think? Okay, okay. We'll see. We'll see. All in good time. Yeah, it looks realistic. I can agree with you on that, definitely. So, added in, there we go, another uh, squad XP boost popping up. Gonna be uh, making bank after this. After we open all these cases, we'll be able to buy ourselves some additional ones, I'm pretty sure. Head on over, and number 47. What do you have? Uh, Chrome Dazzle, the two-tone, we have seen already. Uh, Edelweiss, we are acquired. Um, hmm. We'll see. Chrome Dazzle. Oh, okay, okay. This seems again like I mentioned with the dazzle for the uh, the blue dazzle, which is usually used for the Allied ships in World War One and World War Two as a camouflage. This style, will, I believe, was used on uh, on the um, Axis ships. You know, uh, things uh, the, the German ships overall. Um, so, yeah, definitely would be a cool looking pickup. I <laughs> need that XP. We will be, I'll probably be selling a number of them for additional scraps for more skins though. We'll see though. Why? Um, in, here's the thing. With regards to ship warfare, um, um, they, they would use this style of camouflage in order to uh, distort the enemy gunner's view um, when they're trying to range their shells and uh, try to decipher how far away a ship is from, uh, from their guns. Uh, that way, it, it, at least, you would be able to uh, survive a little bit better. Um, you could say, most probably, it had to do something along the lines of um, uh, the, the, the waves themselves and the uh, glint of the sun uh, off, the, off of the water onto the ship itself kind of thing. I, I, I can't tell you on that much. I have my doubts, but who knows. Three, two, and one. Hey, hang on. We've already got this one. We already oh, we got we had the the Edelweiss already. Uh, we picked it up uh, just recently as, uh, um, as part of this pack opening. Yep, we're scrapping it. All right, no worry. Don't have to tell me twice. Um, another squad XP boost. We're gonna be loaded, that's for sure. Um, add to our inventory. Why not? Uh, we'll soon figure out whether there's a, an actual maximum capacity for uh, XP boosters, I guess. Um, number 55. French two-tone. Okay, okay. Um, interesting indeed. Uh, two-tone for the Land Creeper. We've seen before already. Uh, Fedorov beginning to make an appearance. Devil Dog still here. Rasputin for the Nagant Revolver. Pretty, uh, pretty clean style overall. Um, I like this a little, slightly floral in certain parts. Um, you know the, the two tone from between the uh, the silver and the, the uh, black, um, uh, the, the black uh, frame. Pretty sweet. I like this. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. They they cost nine hundred a p uh, nine hundred for a superior battle pack. So. Yeah, very very smooth, very clean, and we can get we can continue working on the saber too, which is a nice uh, a nice little touch. Here we go. I hope you're all having fun, by the way. Definitely, um, very ecstatic, you know, seeing some new things popping up. A couple of oh, hey, there she is. Nice, nice, nice. Sometimes you go ahead and compliment the, uh, compliment the case, compliment the skin, and the, and the EA goes ahead and uh, you know uh, pays you nicely for it. Speak of the devil, definitely. We have yet to unlock this, and I'm looking forward to it. Seven rounds uh, in a single cylinder. Uh, they're gonna that additional round couldn't come in handy. Ooh, a piece for the Dud Club. Okay, I I think I fi I figured out why they call it the Dud Club. Um, it does look like um, a uh, a pineapple grenade. 
um, um, and therefore I guess the, the, it happened to actually be a dud, so they went ahead and glued it onto a stick and uh, you just use it as a as a melee uh, uh, you know a melee weapon as a club you know hence the name dud club a dud grenade on a club yeah there you go <laughs> it's also pretty sweet that they actually kept the uh, the grenade pin as well uh, as a nice little touch there oh really okay good to know good to know so uh, onwards nice good play uh, nice a very beautiful pick up that one uh, have we any more cases from those? No, not necessarily. Looks like we've been through all of the numbered revision cases. So now we're on to the, uh, the special ones. The final... Uh, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cases. All right, all right. This is... Uh, this is uh, definitely getting <clears throat> intense now. Because these are some of the last chances of getting um, a few very strong uh, very very beautiful skins we will still have the uh, the additional cases to purchase but nonetheless here we go do a holiday case you think uh i mean i only have one holiday revision specifically the others are ultimate battle fest assault eastern um fire and ice and northern north sea uh Ooh, land ship. Okay, again, platinum chevron. Again, also a style that was uh, that was used on uh, on ships during World War Two. Good to see. Um, the oh, a skin for the label. That could be an oh, hello. Really nice there. Nice little inscription. Uh, liberté, égalité, et fraternité. The uh, the three uh, main staples of uh, of uh, France, you could say. And uh, a nice little uh, medallion too over here, evidently. Also a white scarf. I wonder why. Yes, yes. Oui, oui. Vive la, vive la France. Vive la France. So and oh, hang on. Also a little uh, fleur de lis um, right there next to the uh, the foregrip. So a lot of nice, nice intricate touches. Very, very cool. So off we go. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and open this one up. Why not? Three, two, and one. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, San Miguel. Um, very nice, okay. Uh, slightly more woodland, I guess. Um, it does kind of brush over the main receiver, too, for the P08. Thing is, um, I'll have to check. I think I had the skin already for the P08, so might be a competitor. we might have a competitor for it. Yeah, it, it, it does. It, it does look like it's it's been through the mud, for sure, but... Uh, Still, it's uh, it's an, an additional uh, skin to our collection, so I'm not gonna complain, not at all. Oh, hello, uh, the Bartek bludgeon. Add to our puzzles, nice. Um, which one shall we go for next? Let I'll actually con mm, you know what I'll just open them as they arrive. Otherwise, I'll just keep on cycling left, right, and center. Can get a bit slightly irritating, so. It's got like a mold growing on it. Good camouflage. Well, okay, fair enough, I guess. Everyone, uh, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. If anything, it's a, it's a realistic skin. You know, a lot of uh, mold was prob a mold and dirt were pre were present in the trenches, so seems only fitting. All right, off we go. North Sea. Um, which one could be a cool one? The box cannon, definitely something I'd look I'd like to pick up personally. Point blank for the Bodio. Um, okay, kind of a Damascus steel kind of style to it overall, or like a like a marble, perhaps. We'll see. We'll see. Three, two, and one. This should take us down to the last five cases. So there she is. Okay, so I get, it could be that if you ho if you open up a certain image for long enough, it could take you take that into account when choo choosing your skin um yeah i like it i like it uh, i like it uh, a lot actually it does look like some sort of um marble marble countertop of sorts that's the vibes i get from it add to inventory grappling hook piece really cool i'm not sure but i i think 
that you do have a very rare chance of unlocking a weapon completely. I'm not entirely sure about that, so don't take uh, don't take my word for it. Really cool though. Um, shotgun skin, Arisaka skin, the the Kulak for the Obreds as well. Uh, Kaiser Schlacht. All right, I've I've seen that skin around previously. Yeah, I'll stay on it for te for like ten minutes. Yeah, that that would be beautiful. Off we go. Three, two, and one. What are we getting this time? Ah, nice. All right, all right. The smorg uh, the smorgon. Um, I see a uh, some sort of two-headed eagle over here, very nicely engraved. Uh, the entire barrel also has its own style. Uh, double triggered. Never noticed that about this shotgun. Um, yeah, I like. I like a lot. Definitely very, uh, very, very intricate and old school, uh, old school shotgun. Honestly, I mean, I I could probably walk into um, walk into a, one of our more fancy gun stores here in Malta, or into uh, into some some you know um, uh, very rich person who likes to go uh, clay pigeon shooting or maybe even pigeon hunting. And uh, yeah, I, I I odds are I'd actually see a shotgun that looks you know just as intricate as this. So I like it. I like it a lot. Definitely has withstood uh, the tests of time. Oh, another squad XP boost. Continuing to stack them up one after the other. Uh, open up our next one. Um, Russian 1897. Oh, there's the there's the Nagant, the Mosin Nagant specifically. Yeah, she lo she looks beautiful, man. Really, really nice. Little cheeky cheeky bits and pieces of gold. Yeah, now now you know why I'm why I'm hyped up for picking a uh, hyped up for some uh, for. Happening to acquire this weapon somehow, it she it, it looks beautiful, man. <laughs> Just um, uh, even I, I mean I, I could gladly keep this up as a as a as a picture on a separate screen and keep on looking at it all the time. Yeah, there you go. Just keep on looking at it. You notice more beautiful details about it. Also, just notice the bayonet itself is also slightly serrated, which is uh, an interesting touch. I never noticed. Yeah, she looks cool, man. She looks cool. Cross fingers, people. Cross fingers. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, uh, what? Oh, we got the same thing again. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. If anything, it's um, if anything, we're gonna get scraps for it, which we can invest into another into uh, another case. So. I'm okay with it. At least we're still getting our money back further, even more so with an additional squad XP boost. So I'm fine. I'm 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 not all that disappointed. Um, again, blue dazzle could be a nice pickup here. Uh, Riot we already picked up here. Savoya not yet. I'll have to check though. Might have actually got that. So blue dazzle, like I said, yet again, allied ships. Um, um just the blue and the the blue and the white. The working together, um, uh, the blue looks like the sea itself. Then the white looks like the uh, the white horses, so to speak. And uh, even as the as the sun reflects off of the waves. Yeah, uh, like I said, if you want, you can actually pick up skins like this in uh, and equip them to your ships over on World of Warships. If you've never played it, I do recommend it. Very be uh, very nice, very nice indeed. So, uh, give it a try. Three, two, and one. What you gonna give us? Ooh, nice. The Savoia. Nice, nice, nice. Really cool. First time picking it up as well. Yeah, the magazine. It almost looks like a window of sorts with the cross. Um, you know, vertical and horizontal. It's little... Intricate details in each po in each sector. Yeah, she looks cool. She looks beautiful. Black and gold is a classic, indeed. It's a slightly more into dark dark brown than gold, but she looks good. Um, I'm not one to complain. <laughs> Another squad XP boost, as though um, as though to go ahead and say thank you for your service once again. Last two cases now. Last two cases. Um, last few chances to acquire 
uh, one of these uh, rare tank skins here. Um, we do have a uh, Martini Henry skin again. Um, very intricate looking. I think I've only had we've only acquired one skin which uses this style, the Doughboy specifically with the um, uh, the black and gold like this. So definitely would be a really cool pickup for sure. Let's try three, two, one, and go. Oh, oh, oh hello. The. Uh, Rebay roll. All right, all right. Um, I see the um, the uh, intricate little details, the fleur de lis yet again. Um, not sure if there's the inscription for Liberté, Égalité, Fraternité. There it is, perfect. Yep, Liberté, Égalité, Fraternité. Um, again, the uh, white, um, uh, the white handkerchief, and uh, a little almost medal style over here. Yeah, they look good. They look good. Maybe a, a little bit more de well detailed on, or a little easier to see on the label specifically, but uh, again, not gonna complain. Additional skin. Another squad XP boost. Yes, they really want us to continue cashing in on this, for sure. So, technically our final pack um, from those that we have received um, uh, from, the, uh, from going premium. Um, I've, I mean, I'd like to go ahead and real quick before buying this and pushing on over into the battle packs that I can purchase. Um, I'd like to go ahead and say thank you. Um, because, you know, over the past few days we have already, you have all rallied together alongside me trying to um, acquire these. So, um, and actually perform this all right here, right now. So, oh, it's a, it's a vehicle only. Oh, hello. We're in for a good one. Really nice, a nice look indeed. Welcome back, Leprechaun. Good to see you. No, it's not vehicle only. Looks like it. <laughs> that would be have been absolutely divine, uh, divine um, uh, my dear soul. But when you start scrolling down, you begin seeing a lot more. So, good try. It's been great. Yep, glad to hear it. Much appreciated. For again, it's uh, I'll go ahead and also uh, give give each and every single one of you a, a pat on the back. Um, it's you've all helped me lead up, lead up to this point. So. Hey, Leprechaun, thanks for, the, uh, thanks for the potato, dude. Welcome, welcome. Desert gold, hopefully? We'll see, we'll see. Desert gold, uh, bronzed, bloodied, looks really like cool, too. Like a boss, definitely, like a boss. Let's get this going. Three, two, one. Boom. Ah, uh, we got... Oh, okay. I, I thought we had this. Never mind. Uh, we have something for the Bodeo, but uh, this one was yeah. This one looks a little bit more like dragon scales almost on the barrel and the cylinder. Again, another skin. I don't mind. I'm happy with it. I'm <laughs> I'm absolutely just you know blown away by, by the intricacies that they added for some of these weapons. Um, something that I really wish that they had added for. Uh, oh, nice. Another piece for the sawtooth. Really beautiful. Something I really wish that they had uh, done for Battlefield 1, I'll actually have to check, but um, I'm not sure if there is a button you can press to inspect your rifle. I know that they added it in Battlefield 5, um, after you could do it on uh, some other games, I'm not sure whether it's Apex or other uh, or anything of the sort, but yeah, sadly it's not the case. They really should though, they, there's a lot of beauty and intricacy in what they've pulled off here. Uh, it's uh, it's certainly a bit of a waste. We uh, I can still we still have our ch a chance to get more skins though. We're about to open up a few more superior battle packs and also and also sell some of our squad XP boosts. And apparently we have a duplicate. Which duplicate is this? Hang on. Uh, LMG. Oh yes 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 I have the dupl. I apparently had managed to acquire a duplicate for the Copperhead. Uh, I had one skin long time ago, but never unlocked the rifle or the machine gun. And looks like we have uh, we had managed to unbox another. So yeah, that's true. That's true. Definitely. Some could some some could say that the golden ones do a little bit, but they're not that. They're they're not bad. I like them. 
<laughs> yeah, F is the uh, F is the is in, in fact the button for um, what's it called for uh, the, for melee and, ba and battlefield one certainly. So duplicate has been sold. Additional scraps have been acquired. Uh, back on over to getting battle packs, superior ones, uh, uh, superiors from the ultimate revision. Therefore, we have access to all of these skins plus an additional 118. Unfortunately, from what I can tell, no access to the super rare skins. So that's a bit of a bummer. But uh, again, um, maybe it maybe they're hidden somewhere within these 118. Who knows? Off we go. First pack: three, two, and one. Purchased. We can also go ahead and just purchase the other one in, ad in advance, I guess. Make it all that uh, that much easier. Um, maybe we should also sell some squad squad XP boosts. We have eleven of them, so um, I wish I could scrap a lot. Um, I guess we'll have to go through them one at a time. So there's one. Let's take it down to five squad XP boosts remaining. Then we'll reevaluate our options from there. So I need to sell six in total. I don't know, dude. I really don't know. And maybe you, you get lucky that time. Other than that, um, no ideas. Nice. So we're up to um, an additional two cases for now. If I wanted to, I could probably acquire yet another case. since uh, Another one or two more cases by selling all of our XP boosts. You know what? I'll actually, I, I, technically speaking, while yes, you can level up um, faster, I really don't see a reason to use a squad XP boost. So I think I might sell a couple, almost all of them. Maybe I'll keep one for safekeeping for now. I'll keep one. I'll keep one. Or I'll keep two. You know, let's leave it at that. Two left. So now we have nine eight. We have three cases. Nine eighteen twenty seven. Perfect. So let's buy all three of them. One. Um, another one over here, two, and three. There we go. And an additional five cases are well, coming closer closer to our final chances. We could get more pieces to unlock. Uh, uh, we could get more squad XP, XP boosters to help us out, or maybe even um, uh, more pieces after we've actually unlocked an entire uh, an entire melee weapon. So let's go. Three, two, one. Ah, nice. Oh, okay. We already have this one, so we can scrap again. More, more, um, more um, scraps for future cases. Another, another squad XP boost. I'll hold on to this one for now and reevaluate later. On to our fourth case. Three remaining after this. <laughs> you know the odds, right? Oh, Mars Automatic Syndicate. Okay. Uh, slightly dirty esque, uh, dirty um, skin. The Mars Automatic itself does look like a fairly a clunky weapon. I will admit, although strong, I should point out. But uh, yeah, okay. I mean, I'll I'll take it anyway. It's like um, I, I guess it's, uh, it's like you're looking at uh, maybe Shrek's sweat patch or something. I don't know. Just throwing it out there. Camo gives uh, gives an in-game advantage. All right. Oh, another suit, soul tooth piece. Nice. Another one joins in. Wonder how close we are to actually unlocking one of these weapons now at this rate. Pretty close, I guess. Oh, all Colibri skill. <laughs> Thingumijing. Hmm, interesting name, certainly. Uh, love the, uh, you know, the uh, the faded out hexagon pat uh, pattern. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely an intriguing weapon to run around with. I would, I would presume. Uh, <laughs> imagine you just run run this weapon on purpose with a shotgun. Then you 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 hit you ki you hit someone once, and then you take out the colibri and kill them with it just to show just to show off that you have the skin. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? That's that's pretty much the only reason to uh, to run this weapon and run the skin. Yep, gonna have to uh, gonna have to take this one out. It'll slow me down on, in unlocking the uh, what's it called the Nagant revolver, but I guess it's a worthy substitute. 
Final two cases for now. Final two. Where are we gonna go with this? There she is. Uh huh. Another pistol. The Inhaber. Or Inhaber. I'm not sure if the H is silent here. Um. Okay. Okay. Pretty cool looking skin here now that I'm looking at it a little bit more intricately. Pretty nice. Pretty worthwhile. I like it. From her stop, also a relatively good weapon, good pistol overall, in my opinion. So nice pickup, and an additional squad XP booster. We're gonna be selling some of more, a few more of these to maybe weasel in an, an additional case, I'm sure. Another superior battle pack, um, the last one for this second wave here. Three, two, and one. What we getting? Show me the money. Ah, uh, okay, I guess we can sell this off as scrap. So, closes us in further, uh, gets us closer to acquiring a, uh, a new case, if anything. Add to inventory. Why do you think that I need the extra XP, in your opinion, Saul? I mean, as such, I have a lot of, I have a lot of, uh, um, uh, you know, bits and pieces of contract in order to buy weapons, so that for me is not a problem. Is there something else that I'm missing that your squad needs it? Um, mm. so think, think, think. Uh, Six fifty-five, so two seventy-five a piece um, for those squad experience. That takes us up past one thousand. So I'll actually sell one of those, just one, to get myself a battle pack and uh, my final battle pack for now, and uh, I think we'll be good to go. Yes, yes, that's why I'm holding on to five of them. This one last one will be used. You never know. By Remember, using these scraps, we have a chance of acquiring the uh, the Mose and the Gant. The Mose and the Gant skin. So, uh, it can go pretty nicely. Alright, is it even here? Hang on. Um, it, it says plus 118, so there is a chance that the Mose and the Gant is actually available. Ooh, hold up. Now it's actually showing that the super rares are part of the 118. So you do actually have a chance of acquiring a tank a vehicle skin like this. Really sweet, really really sweet. Good to know. Let's try then. 3, 2, 1 and thank you so much. Here we go. Please EA, please EA, give me something good. Give me something good. Ooh, okay, okay. It's a Russian. It's a Russian rifle, not the Russian rifle we were looking for. But I'll take it. Definitely a good-looking skin. I like it. I like it. Really beautiful. There we have it. Then there we have it. So real quick, um, thank you so so much for tuning in for this um, for this um, unboxing. This went uh, really great. Um, maybe if I continue playing Battlefield 1 more, we could acquire more cases and uh, more scraps, unlock better uh, gear and skins. So, um, uh, yeah, once again, thanks for the support so far. Really do appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to uh, having more amazing chances and, uh, you know, memories alongside you all here, here in this gaming. Oh, hey, and just to put the, uh, be the icing on the cake, we managed to get ourselves a cookery piece. So, absolutely lovely there. Absolutely lovely. There we go. Uh, inventory, real quick. Melee weapons. Um, where are you? That's sidearms. Those are the pistol ones, at least. Melee uh, puzzles. There we are. Oh, I can. Uh, oh, I can unlock the sawtooth. I can build a sawtooth. Nice, 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 nice. Here we go. Even better. New melee weapon has joined. Uh, has been added to our inventory. Uh, saber, little over, almost halfway there. Pretty close. Um, the dot club is empty, grappling hook only one, pry bar on a zero right now. So nice, we actually got ourselves a melee weapon too. Add icing on icing to the cake. 